Yo! So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the book bolt cover designer, okay? And then also too, we're going to do a little bit of research and kind of get a better understanding of the niche and see how the covers are doing over there, like the idea of the covers and the niche and see what's selling really well, okay? So let's get straight into the content. All right, guys, so first things first is when you guys are going into a new niche, okay, or if you're going into an existing niche, right? Um, let's say, for example, you're going into a new niche, completely new niche. Um, you want to research and see how these covers are doing in the niche, right? You want to see, like, the top-selling book, the interior the book in that niche, right? You want to see what the cover, like, what is, what, what, what is, what's so unique and different about the cover, right? If there's anything... Uh, in the niche, like say if it's like a pink cover, right? Is it towards a certain audience, right? Who's buying this book, right? Do they want like a certain color on the cover? Okay, so you can also too use the Amazon search bar. If you use the Amazon search bar, it will tell you sometimes like it'll say, um, say for example, dog, it'll say, or dog training log book pink, right? Or, or uh, dog log book flowers, right? Um, it will say it'll, the, the the search engine on Amazon will actually give you some information right about what people are searching for they like are they searching for like a, a pink cover purple color purple color cover um, flowers on the cover dogs on the cover or like stuff like that and then also too when you search it um, the other books in that niche will give you a better idea of what's going on and what people are are purchasing by looking at the BSR and stuff like that. So let me get into let's get into the computer. Let me show the example of what I'm talking All right, about. All right. So uh, for example, I'm in incognito mode, right? And then I'm gonna come over here to Amazon.com. And then uh, what we're gonna do is use the search bar right here, right? So dog, type in dog training. All right, let's type in log. Okay, now look at see this is exactly what i'm talking about you see how i didn't even get to let me see go back long you see you see how it's kind of telling you a story um so basically right here sometimes it adds when you type in so logbook right so for example logbook when you type that in it's not pop popping up nothing okay there, there we go so service dog training logbook okay you can see how it it, it it auto corrected it or it it showed you it's showing you long tail keywords that people are actually searching for so uh let's say dog so let's type in service at the beginning service right space see if anything pops up no nothing pops up but sometimes for example um whatever your niche you're in right so i would recommend you going into um your niche that you're in and you use the search bar right and kind of figure out okay is there does pink come up right sometimes pink comes up or sometimes flowers right you know what I mean so and it will kind of give you an idea of what the customer wants on their cover right it might pop up purple it might pop pop up red you know what I mean and you kind of get an idea of who's buying the book so it will help you with your target audience and all that stuff that all that cool stuff so that's one way right you, you can kind of get an idea of how to research the cover for your for your design and here's another way we can just press enter right and then basically what's going to happen now uh, Amazon's going to tell us a story right it's going to tell us a story of what's going on on this uh, this front page when we type in service dog training logbook okay um, as you can see okay we get there goes some flowers again the little badge um, we're going down let's let's click on this and see what's going on look at here's some here's some more pat like a patterns right patterns of uh, dogs on the cover let's click on that one got some more patterns guys and you guys are seeing this right you guys are kind of getting an idea of what I'm talking about and you can see these ones right here just a little bit more of a it's more design you can see that it has more words on the cover and this one too as well uh, but right off the back I can tell that these right here right are KDP books right interesting here's some more patterns okay you can see too as well all right, let's look at these ones right here. Um, there's a few different tools that I like to use when it comes to this. It's kind of so it's kind of look at the BSR rankings, like the how if there's a cons there's consistent sales over time. I like to use, um, for example, you can you can use BookBolt too. I like to use Helium 10 too as well. I use a few different tools, right, to kind of check and see if there's a demand in certain niches. But um, 
with this right here, it's 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 big because when you before before we go over into book bowl, we're looking at what these covers kind of researching the covers and stuff like that and seeing if there's a demand you can see uh, 1 million BSR five reviews already okay and this is interesting because you can see okay so we're looking at patterns we see that there's flowers on the cover we're looking at there's a pattern here pattern here right different dogs so it's kind of telling us right it's giving us some information because it's giving us an idea of when we go into this niche what's selling already right you don't have to make it difficult at all what's selling already um in this niche when it comes to looking at the uh, covers and researching so that right there is kind of one of the ways that the ways that i like to go into a, a new niche right and figure out what the heck is selling on um in in that niche right um and you can see customers who view this item also view this right you can see so there's some a little bit more information in here too so Basically, the goal behind this is to get an idea of the covers, right, for the niche before we go into the book bolt um, cover designer to make an actual cover. All right, guys, so this is the back end of book bolt. I'm already logged in. I'm right here at the, the template uh, selection right here for the cover. Um, you will choose your trim size and paper color and page count. Now, this right here, guys. Um, a lot of people get confused when it comes to this because there's a lot right here. There's a lot to take into play, like because you got to keep in mind like your interior. Sometimes the number of pages in your interior will make a different size, uh, different size for your cover. Cover. So for example, you're gonna choose cover trim size. In this example, we're going to use a uh, six by nine cover. Okay, the paper uh, color is going to be white. Oops. And now this is exactly what I mean. So let's say your book is 150 pages, right? It's going to be a different size, trim size uh, for the six by nine. Let's say if it's a uh, 500 uh, page count. So you, your, your book has over 500 pages in it. It's going to be a different size. So this right here is going to save you so much time if you don't do not understand uh, the number of pages that you have in your interior. Um, which makes a different template size for your cover, if that makes sense. So for this example, we're going to use 150 page count. Okay, so my book has 150 pages, so you can press submit. It's going to generate a template, and in this example too, as well, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to upload. Uh, uh, let's say you have a custom uh, drawing, like a illustration. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and then you, in the back end, it has some resources right here with Bookball. You can use it like a real life image. You can also take pictures too, as well of your dog okay or uh, of buildings outside or sunset right or the ocean or whatever the heck you plan on doing all right so so for this example we're going to upload an image okay um let's just let's pick a darker color right let's come all the way down to image okay so for i uploaded a little golden retriever puppy and basically what we're going to do is click the image right and then I'm going to resize it. And basically, this is the cool part about this, what you guys can do. Okay. Um, everything back here is pretty much like almost like using Photoshop in its own way. Um, you can come up here. This is a cool little feature that I love. Um, you're going to resize it. And then, um, like I told you, like patterns do really well. So we're going to put grid repeat. And basically, you can see exactly what I just did right there. Right. Um, it, it turned that single uh, illustration that I had and put it in, and, and turned it into like a pattern, right? And then uh, what we're going to do is add a shape, put a little rectangular looking little square, right? And this is going to be the badge, okay? Um, uh, and this is where you're going to put like the name of your book, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to put the name of the book right there. Let's see. We can change the color. Let's see. Let's see what another color looks good. Uh, we'll just leave it at a darker color, right? All right. So that right there, we have our little badge right there. And then um, text, some text in here. Let's move it. Let's say uh, the name of the um, let's put golden. Okay, so I put golden retriever log book. Um, let me. Boop, 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 boop. Let's 
Just change the color. All right, so I came up there, change the color, boom, boom. And then making sure it looks good. Well, it's looking good. Let me see that box, make it a little bigger. As you can see, let's make it a little bigger. Let's bring this side in. Okay. Also, too, guys, I am not no designer, by the way. I like to outsource a lot of my stuff, okay? Just a heads up, I like to outsource a lot of my stuff, right? So, yeah, um, it's looking good, okay? Boom, golden retriever, log book. So, move that up a little bit. Let's kind of bring it up, break it nice and nice and nice and tidy right okay so yeah I think it's coming along pretty decent right here right all right and then um, yeah so here's one example you can do with the patterns right so very simple very easy didn't take me that long and then you can come up here to the left hand side and then you can just press download and basically what it's gonna do is gonna prep it and get it ready to download Boom, downloads ready, click download, and then come over here. And it looks good, download, right? Save, boom, done. All right, so uh, let's can let's go over to the next uh, style up. I wanna show you guys this. All right guys, so I um, cleared it all out, put it back to the default. Um, let's make it, let's, okay, I put it back to the default. Now this time we're just gonna add an image, right? Um, you can either like take a picture and upload your own real life image or you come over here to resources and let's type in like sunset, right? Okay, cool. Now this one looks pretty dope. And we're going to go ahead and uh, resize this. Okay. And to where it's covering up the whole cover. Okay. And this is just an example. Um, this is something that's really cool that you can do, or even you come over here and just type in like a dog or something, right? Um, and you can put a dog, like a real life image of a dog right here. So for example, we're just going to use like a, a like a, like a, a image, right? And then we're going to come in here and add it do the same exact thing that we did with the, the pattern, right? And we're going to add a, a little badge, a little square, right? And this is something too, guys, and I'll, I'll cover this in a different video, but, uh, badges, I kind of like the, it's like kind of like your logo almost in a way and just adding the name of your book out here on the cover, right? And it makes it uh, very, very easy. Makes it, it makes it, you can do, you can do a lot with it, okay? So with the badge, having a unique badge, kind of making it go together with the book and making it stand out helps with, with the cover, right? Making the cover stand out. So let's say uh, here, let's say you want to put, we can just do this like this. So here, image must split. Um, dog training log book. All right. Space. Boom, boom, boom. Grab it. Put it here. Just change the. Just change the, the color again. All right. Okay. See how I did that. Same exact thing, and then you come over here, download, and boom. Yeah, so you can guys can see how easy that is too as well. Um, you can mess with a lot of stuff. You can do a lot with this, uh, with the book co uh, book bolt cover designer. It's really cool, okay? Patterns, flowers, whatever, wherever the heck you can do um, pretty much with uh, any other, um, like see so with Photoshop or whatever, you can do the same exact thing here, and it's, uh, it's pretty much straight to the point, and you guys could see, get the idea of me showing you guys what you can do here, it makes it so much easier for you to use um, because it can be really confusing if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know the, the, the different sizes and all that stuff. So, um, see what it looks like real fast. Download. See what the preview of the final product looks like. And it turns it into the P PDF uh, file that you need to, to upload to KDP. So, that's cool. Boom. Yep. See? Looks really good. All right, and it's ready. And what I would do is just take this and upload it over over to um K 
KDP. Also too, the cool thing about uh, using the book bolt cover designer, because back in my day, right, back in my day, I had a computer and it will, it would, when I opened Photoshop or any of these uh, design softwares, it would freaking crash because it was so old. But that computer literally um, got me to purchase another computer, right? Uh, and then now my, my newer computer can actually um, uh, do all, like open up all these softwares and stuff like that. So um, that's the cool thing about this. If you cannot uh, like afford like a newer computer, like you, Five hundred to seven hundred dollar computer. Um, this right here is web based, so it doesn't like take up a lot of um, a lot of space on your computer, and it doesn't crash, right? So I actually used to have that issue at one time, um, and now I kind of just disrespect the fact that uh, of that, right? It's a little story right there, but this is the cool thing about BookBull because it's a it's a, a web based um, software, right? And you can use it, and it won't mess up your computer running that stuff. So